And it is time for Stormwatch. We will begin with the tropics. And this is the time of the season where we near the max and things can change kind of quickly. A pretty good example of that is uh, Dean. And you can, well, you can kind of see it under that little 24-hour symbol. But it's changed uh, dramatically from where we left it this weekend, that's for sure. 11 a.m., it is now a tropical storm, 39.5 and 59.9 uh, west. The good news is it's not a threat to land here. And it continues to chug off to the northeast quite quickly at 18 miles an hour. Good news, too, on the infrared, not a lot of deep convection in and around the center, but as you can see from the visible, there is quite a circulation indeed. So uh, like we saw on the perfect storm, you know the wave action is getting pretty big out here south of Sable Island for uh, all the fishermen out there, no doubt about it. Interesting uh, disturbance here sitting inland, at least the mid-level circulation is south of Brownsville in Texas. We'll kind of close in on this area a little bit with our Gulf of Mexico shot but just a tremendous amount of deep tropical moisture coming up in through Texas. And this is going to be with us at least for the next couple of days. You can definitely see some kind of swirl here on, the, on shore. But, you know, with all these thunderstorms out there and with no pinpointed low-pressure center, one may try and form out in some of these clusters. So this is something we have to watch over the next couple of days. It's certainly...